it is me oh i'm having such a good day my birthday is coming up in december so it's a little bit before my birthday but my partner just got me my early birthday gift I have this packet from Jackson's Art he knows what I like I also have a wish list on Jackson's but I have no idea what he ordered for me so this is going to be such a surprise uh, for me to see what's inside every year I create Jackson's wish list and then he picks whatever he wants uh, from that list so I'm excited to open this up and see what's in this box hiding hopefully not for long now and let's do it together i'm gonna put the camera overhead so we can both unbox it it's a big box uh, so i don't know what's inside uh, i'm curious very very curious so without further ado let's go overhead and unbox it god okay so it's they went light fast 36 pencils <sighs> oh my gosh oh my god i can't believe aha uh -huh. and this is my favorite ever color i love this blue i absolutely love this blue Oh my gosh, I'm going to have so much fun with this. <laughs> we are going to swatch them as well. No way. I literally, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Uh, okay, so there's another box here. Oh my God. <laughs> there's another ink tennis. Oh, and this is the big one. This is 72 colors. I'm so sorry for the reflections. I can, I know you can see them in the camera. So I suppose that is two layers. Let me just open this. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I actually can't believe it. Look at all these colors. This, yeah, there's two layers. <sighs> oh. oh my God. Oh. I literally cannot believe it. These are so beautiful. It's so gorgeous. And they smell so good. <laughs> they smell so good. Oh, look at that. I could not dream of a better present, honestly. Uh, I think this is a full set of Inkton pencils. I might be wrong, but wow. I have some, but I think I had a set of 12. Uh, some colors will probably repeat, but oh my days. I'm literally speechless. And these, these Derwent Light Fast colors are so nice. They remind me uh, texture wise and size of the barrel and everything. They remind me of Caran d'Ache Luminance a lot. I don't know if this is going to focus here. Yeah. So they remind me of Caran d'Ache and the text texture wise and the size wise. And these are wonderful, wonderful pencils. And these are just magical when you 
apply well I sometimes I use them just on as a pencil as a colored pencil but as soon as you add water they oh, the colors that they give they are so so vibrant we need to swatch them um, we'll be swatching the inktons one and we'll be swatching the light fast pencils um, oh my gosh Whoa, I can't believe it. <laughs> so it's actually been a few days since I recorded the intro for this video, but I had no time. I got distracted when I was recording the intro and then I didn't have time and it's been probably about a week since I recorded the first a clip for this but today is another day and I am ready to swatch and I'm thinking we are going to start with the went light fast pencils just because um, there's a little bit less of them and also apologies if you can hear the noises from the street my window is slightly open um, and there's cars and motorcycles passing by so okay without a further ado let's start swatching these beautiful they went light fast pencils oh make a noise So I do have uh, for five colors, five colors of um, of that. Not from this set. It was the five uh, colors that I purchased myself because these ones you can actually buy open stock. So if you just need a specific color, you can just buy that one. But here I've got the whole set. So what I'm thinking, I am going to. Mm, how do I do it? This is set of how many? 36. So I'm going to just write down it's a set of 36. Okay, so hopefully you'll be able to see this. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Maybe that will be a little bit more helpful. And we'll start with this one and this is sun yellow might as well just continue <laughs> these are so soft I absolutely love these pencils Champagne. Okay. Once again, the paper uh, I'm doing the swatches on is probably not the best for swatching colored pencils, as um, this is a watercolor sketchbook, moleskin, and it has a little bit of a texture. So, pencils are always better on smooth paper yellow ochre these will probably end up in a bunch with my other pencils I don't really like to keep my pencils and my supplies in a in a tin the only exceptions the only exception um, for a supply that I keep in its own original box is the oil pastels. Sandstone. Uh -huh. 
Then we have pale peach. And now salmon. Now we have Sienna. The next one is Scarlet. This one is called a Ruby Earth. When we sat there, you and I, it's a lovely reddish brown. Oh, brownish red. <laughs> now we're going into pinks and purples. This one is Oyster. Now we have Heather. This one is called Nightshade. Ooh, very nice. It's like um, Karen Dash uh, has got this color called Dark Indigo and very often I will use it instead of black and I think this would be like the version of a very very dark purple that you can use as or instead of black. The next one is Violet. I should have done this so I have like a strong and light version of the color okay I'll keep doing that and then blue violet This color I already have, and this is actually one of my favorite colors, uh, Mid Ultramarine, or Mid Ultramarine, or however you uh, accent that. This one is called Arctic. It's a bluey white. <laughs> this makes me think of a, like a very light a version of Payne's Grey. Now we have dark turquoise. This next one is called Mallard Green. Ooh, reminds me a lot of like a Viridian Green, this color.
the next color here is called a racing green very nice green now we have spruce green this one is called olive earth And another color we have is forest. I just love how soft and creamy this pencil, these pencils are. Absolutely love it. Then we have a seaweed. This one is like a darker, darker version of this olive brown, at least in this light. Okay, dirty brownie green. Next one is Van Dyke brown. Next we have Venetian Red. The next color is Sepia Red. This one is natural brown. This one is called chocolate. Then we've got brown ochre. This one is called wheat, like the grain. Next we have a warm grey. This one is called cloud grey. This one here is called Mist. And last three colors. This one is called a Midnight Black. Coming 
This one is simply just called black. Oh yes, this one is more like a navy black. This one is like black black. <laughs> And the last one is white, which we we'll probably won't see, but I'm going to swatch it anyway. Okay, I want to test something. I just want to see how the white layers over black. Okay, so here are the 36 colors by Dell and Lightfast. This is from this one tin. And the few colors that you can see at the top, those five colors, these are the colors that I purchased before. I think they are so pretty. And the fact that they are so soft and so creamy, makes a drawing with, with them an absolute pleasure. Okay, so let's watch the Ink 10 pencils now. Uh, we've got a set of 72 colors. They smell so good. So I had a set of 12 from before but I think because we have 72 colors I think I'm gonna swatch them on a separate um, in a separate spread I'm pretty sure that the colors that I have uh, are in a set of 72 because the one um, the, the set of 12 that I had before it's pretty much a very basic set so I believe they would be included in this set of 72 colors Okay, so let's make a quick spread for these ones. Mm. And we need some water and a brush. And I'll be using this uh, Proata. Uh, Proate Proati flat brush to do my swatches. So we'll start with the top. The first color is Sherbet Lemon. I just saw something went out of focus terribly. Don't know why. But, okay. The next color is sunny yellow. Why are you doing this? I think it's something to do with the, because I zoomed in. Um, okay, so the next color is sun yellow. I think this is the color that I already have. But, let's watch it. Next one is cadmium yellow. This one is called Sicilian yellow. There's quite a few yellows in this set. This one is golden yellow. And then we have Sienna gold. This one is cadmium orange.
Now we have burnt orange. What a great color. Next one is tangerine. I think this is the one that comes in a set of 12. The next one is mid vermilion. Then we have scarlet pink. Oof. Nice. Colors like this give me life, I swear. So bright and so happy and cheerful. <laughs> then we have Poppy Red, which is also included in a set of 12. The next color is called Hot Red. Next one we have is Chili Red. Then we have Cherry. This color is, is called Carmine or Carmine Pink. The next one is Crimson. This one is called Shiraz. That just reminds me of wine. <laughs> Beautiful. It's like a very deep burgundy, almost red. And then we're going into violet and purples. This one is a red violet. Sorry if you can hear me breathing. Uh, oh, so pretty. This is just giving me so much joy right now. The the colors here on this page put to, all put together. The next one is Fuja. Fuja is actually one of my uh, favorite uh, plants. In Poland, we call them Fuchsia. That's the Polish um, name. So when I first came here and I was supposed to say Fuchsia or Fuchsia, Fuchsia, it just sounded really strange to me. Oh my days, yes, that literally looks like my favorite plant. Love this. Next is a deep rose. I might be able to um, squeeze another one on the bottom there. We'll see. It's amazing how the color changes from after you apply the water. Actually, I might leave the beginning dry just to see the difference. The colors just become so much more intense. That's absolutely amazing. Okay, well, I think I can fit one more color here. This one is called a thistle. Beautiful. 
so I'm just going to give it a quick um, blast with my heat gun and then I will come back and we can flip it over to the other page and continue with the swatches okay so I am back this is all dry now so let's swap flip over to the other I hope it's dry just it feels dry okay flip it over and then the next color we have is a dusky purple this is a very nice color this one okay next is mauve So do you understand what I'm saying? Like uh, this is the dry one and this is the one that's been activated with water and how intense is that color? It's how did they even do it? I've used watercolor pencils before and none of them are so intense. I think, you know, this is where the name comes from, but yeah, absolutely love them. next color is dark purple and then we have deep and violet Next one is a violet. Oh wow. I just find it so magical how the colors change, how, how intense they become. This next one is called a lagoon. Oh, where are you going? Lagoon. And it's so hard to actually distinguish them when they're dry. They're very, they look very much alike, but once you add the water, it's just, ah, magic happens. This next one is called Peacock Blue. This one is navy blue. Next we have iron blue. I'm so curious to see this color after it's been activated. Okay, so this reminds me of Prussian blue. There might be a Prussian blue in there, but this color definitely reminds me of Prussian blue. Then we have deep blue. Mm. Next is iris blue beautiful okay next page we have bright blue last two colors of the first tray we've got another tray to go and i've already done one to three pages and started the fourth one okay so this is deep indigo indigo is another color that i absolutely love i 
and the last color of the first layer is sea blue and again I think this color is in the set of 12 very bright okay so the first tray is done let's do the second one so we have are oh, we going into turquoise so turquoises and greens we've got i think a dark aquamarine maybe dark aquamarine yeah so we're definitely going into Turquoises, turquoise, turquoise colors, turquoise, turquoise. English is not my first language. Anyway, the next color is green aquamarine. Turquoises are one of my favorite colors for sure. I mean, I pretty much say that about every single color but <laughs> beautiful the next oh actually I'm interested to see what kind of greens they have this one is called a mallard green I think I had this in uh, mm, light fast as well mallard green and I think that, uh, yeah, this is the one that reminded me of Viridian. Definitely. Definitely a Viridian. Beautiful. Then we have teal green. Gorgeous. Next we have iron green, we had iron blue, and now we have iron green. I actually think that this is the whole set of Ink Dance pencils. I mean like all the colors, I mean 72 colors. Correct me if I'm wrong, might be wrong, but I think this is the 72 is the whole lot whole set of colors beautiful normally because these things are so expensive normally I wait until Christmas or my birthday and I ask <laughs> I ask because people always ask you oh, what do you want for your birthday or for Christmas at least in my family we always try to give presents that people maybe want something but they consider it as luxury for me this is luxury and um, I'm not comfortable buying that myself doesn't mean doesn't change the fact that I would want to have those pencils so when my birthday comes up or when Christmas comes up this is when I ask for stuff that I consider luxuries that maybe I wouldn't necessarily spend the money on myself. And then, you know, this year my partner, literally, I can't even believe those two beautiful sets of pencils. He made me so, so happy. So Jason, if you're watching this, I love you. Okay, back to swatching. <laughs> this one is called Ionian, Ionian Green. Oh, lovely. Also on, I do sometimes buy used um, materials. Um, I think you know a lot of us sometimes we buy stuff and then we end up not using it and I don't see anything wrong in buying supplies that ha that are secondhand and maybe a little bit used before you know if the price is 
you know equivalent to the amount of things that you're getting because you don't want to pay a lot of money for something that's like you know this size like this size so i think it's a good idea to look on like used um use used options second hand options maybe ebay or facebook marketplace even right next one we have vivid green as they say one person's rubbish is another person's treasure <laughs> treasure <laughs> that's very vivid Okay, we have apple green. I think this one is also in the set of 12. I see neon. <laughs> it looks like Granny Smith apple. Okay, so these are the pale, pale. These are the purples, violets, blues, teals, and greens so far. Again, I'm gonna blast it with the heat gun and we'll continue in the next spread. Okay, so this is now nice and dry. We finished on apple green. So, my gosh, already four pages. But look at these colors. Oh my days, they're so gorgeous, so gorgeous. Okay. Let's continue. We have. Who are you? Field green. Very vibrant. Next one. Beach. Not. I probably you probably listen to this and you will laugh because I don't mean beach like uh, seaside beach I'm thinking be beach <laughs> beach tree <laughs> my kids um, well not only my kids some of my friends um, sometimes laugh at the way I speak and <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame them there are some words that I just find so difficult to pronounce in English it's mad and I don't know it's just some of them just don't make sense to me why won't you keep it easy <laughs> okay that's a little my camera died on me but now we have a brand new battery in and we can continue with the next color which is hooker's green and the next is felt green And now we have light olive. I have a feeling I will like this color. <laughs> Beautiful. Next is spring green. So we're about halfway through the layer two. The next color is called Fern. I have a feeling I won't be able to fit it on the other page, all the remaining colors, hopefully, because it would just look aesthetically nice. <laughs> but we'll see, I guess. That's nice. That's a nice color. I like this color. Next we have leaf green. I think this one also is in a set of 12, if I'm not mistaken. I'm talking so much and just now of the recording so much uh, footage, I was checking if 
my microphone is actually connected but I think it is so we should be good yes this one is gorgeous okay so we're going into more like earthy tones and colors this one is called mustard nice we have amber <laughs> yes definitely amber i think you know when you go uh, to any of the baltic sea countries um you can get those uh, jewelry with uh, with amber it's so gorgeous i actually have earrings that my partner got for me uh, last time we were visiting and i need to take them out and i need to put them in my ear holes okay amber is done next one is tan I'm really liking those earthy, um, earthy colors. It's so gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Next, we have oak. Oh, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're not gonna fit never mind i just have to live with it <laughs> i don't know if you're ocd like this i don't know if it's ocd or i just like to have things certain things quite neat uh, some people call it ocd but i don't think it is maybe just a little bit because when i finish this and i go over onto the next page it's not going to bother me that much i would prefer if everything fit on a nice spread like this one or like the other ones but if it doesn't it's not the end of the world for me so it's maybe not ocd i like to have my things aesthetically organized next one is saddle brown I actually find swatching so relaxing it's like doing art <laughs> it's like doing art with no pressure but you're putting nice colors on the page and it's just lovely it's so relaxing okay next color is baked earth and if I am not mistaken this one is in a set of 12 as well we will see maybe at the end of this video I will mark the colors that are in the set of 12 and then you can have a look at those next is willow oh i'm so sleepy <laughs> excuse me by the way i had a late night last night and i got up really early tonight today my plan was to stay in bed and have a lay in and i opened my eyes about 6 30 in the morning and then i was up I am definitely not one of those people that stay in bed. I just can't. Once I open my eyes, that's it. I need to get up. Get up and start doing things. Okay, next one is Oxide Red. Mm, that's a nice color. Okay, we now have Mother Brown. Nice. 
Okay, I need to stop saying nice. <laughs> uh, once I was recording a video and I didn't, and I was swatching as well. And all I kept hearing is nice, 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 nice. And so when I, when I was editing the video and then I was like, I literally added a counter and I think I said the word nice maybe about 14 times it is one short video ah uh, okay we have dark chocolate i personally don't like dark chocolate no i don't like it it's not my favorite uh if i had dark milk and white chocolate on the table in front of me my first choice would be white chocolate i love white chocolate i love it what's what's your favorite chocolate i know a lot of people don't like white chocolate but for me definitely my favorite one okay next is bark okay so bark that color definitely is in a set of 12. that's a lovely brown there we go the next one is sepia sepia or sepia ink This is going to be a very long video. Very long. So my apologies, but I'm sure that people that don't want to watch the whole thing, they will either put it on mute and speed it up or just skip certain things all the way to the end. But some of us, like myself, for example, this one is called Indian Ink, by the way. Some of us, we like to put uh, YouTube in the background and listen to what people are saying while, while we do other things. I'm one of those people as well. But what I do then, I have to remember to go back and like the video because sometimes when you put the videos in, in like a playlist watch later or when you add them to the queue then you kind of have to remember to go and like the videos back okay so this one was Indian ink Chinese Chinese ink Ooh. okay so this Chinese ink reminds me of like a ivory black color i don't know something like that mm, this okay next one we have charcoal gray charcoal is my favorite color on a grilled sausage i <laughs> love charcoal sausage when it's like burned and you can taste the <laughs> and you can taste the burn i love a sausage like that charcoal <laughs> gray here we go oh my gosh we're going over to the next page i should have planned it better but never mind. No bother. Ooh. Oh, that's a. I don't know. I don't know about you, but what I'm seeing is like a green gray kind of thing. I really like this color. Okay, I'm gonna blast this with a heat gun and we'll be back on the next page. Okay, so the page is now dry. Let's flip over. And we have Payne's Grey, one of my forever favorite colors. Payne's Grey. I actually use Payne's Grey in when I do watercolors 
this is always 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 my shadow color and i see people use different shadow colors and combinations for example like alizarin crimson and ultramarine and they get this nice like a uh, violety purpley i think violet more like a violety um shadow but for me it was always Payne's gray i absolutely love that color look at this stunning yeah okay next is neutral gray okay let me see if i can zoom in a little bit actually okay otherwise the camera will be going a little bit crazy so i think this will be enough so this one is neutral gray lovely lovely we have now ink black this one is like a warm black um put the white one at the very end and okay outliner i don't know okay so leave this for last because we have the white one here which we won't see but let's just swatch it because we're swatching all the other ones so let's do this one as well how would you even use white okay so as as expected and then we have this outliner okay let's do it outliner Okay, so no, this is definitely different. How it just feels like a graphite pencil. Okay, let's see if it's water soluble. Okay, so it's not. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so in the set of this is going to be better of 72 colors we have this outliner which is not water soluble is more like a pencil waterproof pencil as you can see the water didn't do anything to it um, that's why it's called outliner wow okay let me just try this face so these are all the colors in the 72 set of they went ink dense pencils how beautiful how beautiful there we are and let's go back to this so i made it oh, i made a mistake it's ink dense so an ink dense and then we have yeah the light fast colors and the an ink dense Oh, this gives me so much joy. Yes, these are the colors. Thank you so much, Jason, for getting me all these lovely pencils. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you survived this video, I congratulate you. <laughs> Oh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful to you as well. I love watching swatching videos because it gives me an idea of what colors really look like. You know, sometimes we get, we see the swatches in the online shops and the colors turn out completely different in real life. So hopefully this is helpful. If you like this video, I, I will appreciate a thumbs up and feel free to comment as well. <laughs>
and uh, for now i thank you for watching and i will see you in my next one bye hello <laughs> i can't believe no i'm not gonna say that <laughs>